I've stopped using ChatGPT for my research because this tool is a lot better. It's called Notebook LM and why it's different is that you can load your own sources into the side and then ask it questions and it will only reference the sources that you trust that you know is good instead of ChatGPT going on a hunt for information from websites that you actually don't trust. First, I'll show you how to get access even if you're from outside of the US. Secondly, what the Google researchers want you to use this for, the best use cases and the top tips. And third, I'll show you how I use this in my research process as a YouTuber and business owner to get way more done in way less time and not to even mention how much joy I get from this research process instead. So let's get started. First, how you get access is to go to notebooklm.google and you'll see this page here. Now, if you're not from the US, you're not able to access it unless you have a VPN. That's what I have. So if you connect from a US VPN, you will be able to get access to it just like I'm going to do now. Just click on Try Notebook LM and we're now on the inside. I'm gonna show you a perfect example in a minute, but first I wanna just dive into these introductory example notebooks that Google has given to us. As you can see, Introduction to Notebook LM, December 6th has five sources, Invention of the Light Bulb, four sources, and the main difference of this compared to other LLMs is that you obviously take the data from these six sources and you don't have to use, for example, ChatGPT to search the web, kind of scrape some pages that you don't really know if it's actually what you want to reference and then pull it into your note. Doing this, I've found to be a way better way to get accurate information from trusted sources that you trust instead of some random website that ChatGPT just gave you, right? So introduction to Notebook LM, let's dive into this. And as you can see, we have five sources here of getting started with Notebook LM, getting the most out of Notebook LM, Notebook LM features, Notebook LM glossary, and Notebook LM troubleshooting. And if you wanna go into one of them, you can just click on it and you will see here that you have a source guide. It gives you a summary in the top, like Notebook LM is a tool that helps you research, organize, and write, particularly from multiple sources. You'll see the key topics here, and if you actually click on focus on focus, it will open the chat to the right and say discuss focus on focus. So let me summarize the top tips here for you. I save hours per day in my work because I found this AI tool with three extremely powerful features. As a content creator, I write emails, I make hooks, I write content, I even write documents to my team and you know Grammarly, right? For free, it just corrects my typos, it works in every app that I use, and it even gives me 100 free AI prompts for ideation or rewriting. So my writing is mistake free. But I decided to check out Grammarly Premium because they have three new features that just takes it to a whole new level. Look, first they have strategic suggestion. So if you go all the way in the bottom and you click on this increase the impact of your text it gave me three suggestions and why this is different is that it actually reads the text and then it comes up with either questions or concerns that my team members might have and then try to fill the gap and preemptively answer those questions so they don't come up later. For example, if we click on the first one, you can see that it actually adds another sentence for us to highlight the importance of understanding our audience's needs and pain points. The second one as well, you can see it adds a lot of words so we can make our text a lot more impactful. The second feature is tone, where sometimes you may come off as lazy or arrogant or too demanding. For example, your team at Acmeco is having trouble. They suggest me to say needs help. A little bit more positive. Let's rephrase that. Here they suggested a confident tone where I said we think it could make a real difference and to make it more confidence we just say 
it can make a real difference. Yep. That sounds a lot better. The third feature is the app actions. If I'm working in Slack and I have three different documents that I want to send to my team, select the text, go to the Grammarly icon, and I can find the exact file and link it without ever leaving Slack. Yep. Grammarly just leveled up. I'm so glad I checked out Grammarly Premium. So click link in the description down below, sign up and upgrade to Grammarly Premium to level up your productivity and get work done faster. Thank you so much to Grammarly for sponsoring this section of the video. So let me summarize the top tips here for you. Curate and create. Basically take what you like from the web put it in here as sources, and then you create your own masterpiece. Citations are answers too. So every time Notebook LM answers a question based on your sources, it shows you the most relevant passages from your sources as citation. Watch your word count. If the total word count of your selected source is more than 5,000 words, Notebook LM may have a harder time performing tasks that involve document long overviews. Notebook LM is not a calculator, so keep that in mind. Better to use the iPad for that. <laughs> keep an eye on source formatting. If Notebook LM's answers seem unusually erratic or prone to hallucinations, the likely culprit is a source that have been formatted in a way that makes it difficult for Notebook LM to parse. Imported PDFs are often the worst offenders. So what would you actually use Notebook LM for and the activities? So using sources, we already talked about that. Reading, you can use to improve your comprehension and retention when you read. Click on a source icon to read it in its entirety or you can obviously ask questions as you read. Taking notes is another great use case for this. Another use case is writing coming soon that gives you a suite of tools that can assist you with both the style and substance of your writing. So as of now, you can't actually write the entire script in here. So you would have a side document where you copy and paste as it's more about getting the questions you want, doing the research part of the process and possibly writing it somewhere else. How to use Notebook LM as a research tool is obviously just put a lot of sources in there and ask questions. How to use Notebook LM with meeting or interview transcript. Well, it can help you remember, summarize and quickly find relevant passages from transcripts that you upload as sources, say a documentary filmmaker or podcast producer, for instance, can use Notebook LM to store dozens of transcripts and ask open ended questions based on information in all of the original transcript. I've seen this inside of ChatGPT as well, where people have fed ChatGPT Andrew Huberman podcast, for example. And what is happening there is that it might hallucinate a little bit more or make up things. Whereas here you would get direct link to the citation or what they talked about, which to me is way more valuable. How to use Notebook LM as a help center or onboarding guide. The combination of chat interface with source grounding makes Notebook LM an excellent platform for help documentation or as a guide for new users, customers, or colleagues trying to understand a product or an organization. That makes a lot of sense if you have a lot of training material and there's just one question that you don't know. So those were the common how to use and the activities that most people will use it for. But let me show you an actual example of how I can use Notebook LM right now. If you're a content creator, business owner, or even a student, how can you use it to make your life a lot easier? Well, since I'm a YouTuber specifically about AI, one of the hottest topics right now is the rabbit R1. You probably already seen it and you probably already have an opinion on it. That's not what I'm here to answer. I want to show you how it works to get all this information, put it into Notebook LM, and then we can ask questions about it. First, I just searched for rabbit in the top. Then I would just look at this page and find some reviews of people that I like. For example, Matthew Berman does great research and content. So I'll open that in a new tab. I like Unbox Therapy as well. So we'll open that in a new tab. Wes Roth as well actually uploaded a super cut of the actual presentation, which is extremely valuable for our research. Riley Brown, another great YouTuber. And you can now see that we have four YouTube videos that we could take the transcript from. So I have this Chrome extension that is called YouTube subtitle download helper. <laughs> English is hard. Click on TXT, 
download and we have the entire transcript of this video. Now let's go to the next one, do the exact same TXT download. This is a brand new unit. Here as well, TXT download. And the last one, let's download that as well. Then I'll go back to Notebook LM. I'll make a new notebook, call it Rabbit R1 Research and click on save. Click on this add source button, click on a text file, and I just uploaded all of these documents. And I want to rename them so it's easier for me to know who actually made it. And just like that, I have my trusted sources in here of people I believe in. And now we get to the fun part. I'm gonna assume that you actually watched a video on it and I'm not gonna go into what the Rabbit R1 is. I just wanna show you the example. What are the key features of Rabbit R1? And as you can see, we get an extremely simplified key features bullet point list that just looks a lot cleaner than ChatGPT. It would just add a bunch of unnecessary words and things like that. But let's see if it's actually correct. Natural language interface, yes. Rapid knowledge access, yes. AI powered knowledge sources, you can tap into up to date information thanks to the integration of perplexity. Voice recording and AI generated summaries, yep, that's correct as well. Vision AI used the built in camera. Language action models, which is my favorite thing about the Rabbit R1. Simplified web interface, the Rabbit Hole, and compact and portable design. Pretty much everybody is praising its design. And now, Let's see if we can find some citations. If you hover over it, you get this here. Applause. This is a brand new unit. I just took it out. So this looks like it's from Wes Roth here that did the supercut. And this is actually from the man himself that created this. And he's saying this on stage. So do you think that this is true? Yes. What about this citation number eight here? Rabbit hole and everything. The rabbit hole is also from Wes Roth. If I hover over number four, you can see you get a quick citation here from Matthew Berman. Just absolutely incredible the way that you just based it upon what you actually believe and what you think is true. Now, obviously, if you click on one of them, you will open this in the left and you actually get the entire transcript that I transcribed from the YouTube video in this left hand view. You can even see that it breaks it down into key topics here, but let's dive a little bit deeper. Tell me about the action model. It gives me a perfect summary that it's an advanced AI model that allows users to issue specific commands and actions on their behalf, like booking vacations, ordering food from DoorDash, controlling smart home devices, etc, etc. And I know that this feature is not come out yet, but how can I train my rabbit to do an action? And this is the first roadblock that we came to. I'm sorry, but the provided sources do not contain any information on chat train your rabbit to do an action. Maybe we'll do rabbit R1. Just ask it almost the same question worded differently. Here you go. To train your rabbit R1, all you need to do is one, open the teach mode feature in the rabbit R1. Two, configure the action you want the rabbit to perform, providing a prompt in the teach mode. Then show the R1 how to do it. Record the demonstration using the teach mode. Submit and record the demonstration to the teach mode for processing. And once the training is complete, the R1 will be able to perform the custom action when prompted with the appropriate command. Do you see how absolutely easy this is to get the exact specific information that you want? You can even dive deeper into the citations and see, oh, this was from Russ Roth. And in a heartbeat, you have all the information that you're actually looking for based around multiple different sources. This will change the game for me. As I review AI tools in my AI Andes tool belt, Notebook LM is getting a five out of five stars. And tagline, my favorite tool for research. If you wanna get access to all of my reviews, go to AIandy.ai that has a unique ranking system. If you wanna spy on my personal life, go to my Instagram in the link in the description. Follow me on Twitter to get updated on the latest in AI faster because it takes a while to make a YouTube video. And don't forget to check out our amazing sponsors in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.